And we're back to another episode of Let's Play Graveyard Keeper. I'm your host, the RPG Guy, and we're ready to get moving here. You know what I want to do, though, before we move too much, is I worry that we're carrying too much crap. I mean that in a nice way, but I do think we're carrying a lot of stuff that we don't even know if we're going to use or not. And a part of me is thinking to myself, it might be in our best interest to kind of dump off stuff that we've not used in a while but, excuse me in order to kind of make room for new stuff well, maybe so I need the witcher eye I haven't used that in a while or that keep that I guess and then this other stuff will move outside but yeah I was I was trying to think to myself going I'm always filling up on inventory space really quickly it probably wouldn't hurt to you know move make some you know make some space but part of me was like let's make some space And then, you know, I feel better now that we've made more space. And it's just one of those weird things where it's like constantly, like, bitching. Me, me, bitching that I don't have enough space for stuff. And it's like, well, that's, that's your fault, dude. Because, you know, you're not making an effort to make space. It's like, well, that's kind of true. So, I mean, we've got some quest items we've not used in a long time, and I'm starting to get mildly suspicious of them. And when I say that, it kind of meaning that, like, I'm wondering if there's a purpose, right? And that's why it's, like, we've got our artifacts, and even that, it's like, I don't, we haven't used that in a while either. Um, so let's take a look here. Um... Let's see Snake. Snake should be in today. Castile's amulet. Do that too. Even though that's a bit more recent, but... Let's go visit Sneaky Poo. Oh, Sneaky Poo. Uh. Let's see here. Snake, first of all, thanks for everything you've done for me. Don't try to flatter me. You sound pathetic. What do you want? You just steal an amulet from the lighthouse keeper. Are you up for it? It's not a good time. I just ate a big meal, so my reflexes are slow, you know. Although, I'll do it if you help me. You want money? It's been over a month since my cultists have caught an Inquisitor and drowned him in the river. I guess they need proper motivation. Organize rat races in your tavern for them. <sighs> rat races. Okie dokie. Um, I think we gotta check if we're actually processing grapes right now. Probably not, because we've been manually doing it, so. So. Let's check out and see what it takes to run the rat race. Rat race table. So we need four advanced conical flasks, which we could do, it just takes time. Nails and wooden planks. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at 18 planks, 36 nails, and four advanced conical flasks. Yeah. <laughs> 
Excuse me. I don't want to burn any of these in case we need uh, to run it as an event. First, we got to build the tables, you see. And then second, we got to, you know, probably run the event. All right, let's deal with that body. Then we'll do the deal with the conical flasks. And then we'll be good. Very, very good. What are we doing on... Well, we've hit 10 gold, so we're 12 gold short. So it's been a long and steady journey to get to the, where the next stage of this, but we're getting there, guys, and I'm, I'm excited for that. Mildly. Mild, mildly. <laughs> we'll probably deal... Ooh, there's two bo Oh, boy, there's two bodies. Um, Wow, totally missed them. Let's put this one on ice. Okay, he's gonna be a burner. Which is fine. We're really desperate for cash. We could take a crap ton of blood up to uh, Alaric and turn it in for some cash. This body, which is actually in pretty good condition. It's got evil brain. No, this is a little stuffed up today. Not sure what it is. But that's a sixer. See, yeah, nothing really to help us. Okay, so Get that going because at this point, man, what's up with my nose? Uh, at this point, we'll be good to go. It just hit me all of a sudden. Okay, well, that's going. We needed. 18 planks and 36 nails. How many planks do we actually have in stock? None really, but lots of flinch. So that's interesting. But We need to drop all this off, and I'm going to destroy that brain because we don't need it. Um, just haven't had a use for it yet. Why start now? Um, okay. So we need 18 wooden planks. I 
and 16, 17, 18, and the nails. Simple enough. So now we're just waiting for this to finish up, which I probably made more glass than I needed, but it'll be fine. We could use some more honey, but more importantly, we need to talk to the marquee here. Hopefully we can get him before he nods up, before and he nods up at sleepy time. Would be nice. Where is he? Oh, your jackassness. Birds are already perfect. Our people have already mastered their wooden sticks. It's time to practice with swords. As for me, I've studied some book on the art of siege. We'll soon be entirely ready. How can I help you anymore? The only chance they have of breaking our defenses is to attack unexpected, but we can eliminate that threat. Talking about a viewing tower? Exactly. Build it, and Mountain Fort will never be able to touch us. No way. The tower. Oh, crap. Go ahead and imagine it's already done. Okay. I agree. Easier said than done. We have the happiness probably to build it. We just need the resources. Um, 12 wooden beams, 18 flitch. Well, we have probably the flitch. Is there anything else? No, it's the wooden beams. And we're short on logs right now, so we may even have to carry some of our logs of our own here. You know what? Let me write down what we need before we start freaking heading back and then I come up and don't have a freaking enough of what I you know logs so we're talking 12 beams beams at 18 flitch simple enough and we can't do any of the this, but I think even the new beds are out. The new, I mean, there. I mean, we haven't even filled the ones we've got. But I don't think there's. Yeah, there's no more room for hives or, or anything really. So at this juncture, we may as well just try to finish this quest line because I don't think we can even add more tents. So what's the kind of the point of stretching any more of this out? Twelve beams. Like I said, I'm pretty sure we have the flitch. Right there. Oh, see, there's no logs ready. Okay. So we may have to do some logging of our own, which is fine. That's a normal thing to have to do. Got one freaking log. That's not gonna help us build Jack Squad. Okay. But while that's going, we need three of these for one of those. So we need 
four advanced flasks, so we need at least six. I believe of the conicals. Lots of high quality. It wouldn't hurt to be pressed and ready to go. Just drop the rest of this off and we'll rest and then we'll keep kind of working here bone oh we're out of room for blood uh, this can be moved we we'll process this into paper and take it upstairs because I know we need paper at some point we're not gonna do it right now though um there's a body in the basement. It arrived while we were at that camp. I don't want to forget that it's there. Which, for the love of all that's holy, could they not have put an auto feature for these pals? Because, look, we never really use them. Just saying. Woo. Take some blood. That. I think there's one organ that will reduce our skulls, but also reduce the evil. Yeah, actually, the, the heart will reduce the two evil there. We're not going to get more positive skulls unless we do something, so we'll take the heart out. Is seven. Nice. Um. Let's drop the heart off before I forget. This is all starting to fill up, and we haven't really found a use for that stuff other than I guess we can break it down in the in the alchemy mills and stuff. But eh. all Put this back in the alchemy area. We should probably get more bodies to come to. We have three slots open, so. Yeah, can't really do 15. Alright. That in light. Um, okay. 
Got a lot of meat too, so that we should process. I mean, when we get to the big money making kind of sec section of the game, where you know what we're we're like a gold, one gold out, we'll just start freaking mass selling everything we're sitting on, and it should give us the twelve bucks we need. Parrot donkey. Well, we better go check. We still haven't gotten to the point where we can get our lumber going, lumberjack going here. Get, we keep getting bodies. We're just fine. Because it gives us money and it gives us other things. Oop, that's bad. The question is, does putting in a good set of intestines actually help? says it should. Every time we go to do it, it never seems to work. At least not the way I would hope. Might be one of the best bodies we've ever produced. That's a nine, baby. Yeah. So maybe replacing some of the dark parts with good parts is a good, you know, idea. And that's seven. I think these have a max out. Because if he's a nine skull and we can only get a seven, there's clearly a maxing out issue going on. Alright, let's use the rest of our energy and let's see how much wood. We don't have a lot of wood, so and we need a bunch of it, so it's not gonna in a sense cut itself here. I mean it is, it's just the zombie dudes are not really doing it fast enough for us. Or for our taste. So We don't need all of these flasks. We need four. So we got everything for the rat thingy. Um, we need the 18 flitch and 12 beams. How much flitch? We got 18 flitch. And then the 12 beams, I believe, we just cut from here. pretty good to me uh, let's drop off this ash what else are we sitting on? well let's do this let's let's rest make it the Sunday so we can do the sermon we'll do the sermon as early as we can without you know waiting having to wait too long here we don't need to recover all of our energy as we can really just and we really can just come down over here do the sermon we'll go north and install the watchtower because that's a timed event Kind of a thing. We'll be good to go. Get our delicious money plus our faith. Because if we are going to do any more upgrades to the graveyard, we may as well try to get it to the second highest possible tier. And I say that because I don't intend to go to the highest, because the amount of resources it takes to go to the highest tier is kind of ridiculous.
But I would say we should only bother with it if it absolutely benefits us to the nth degree. Right now we don't know if there's a benefit because we just don't know. Alright, let's drop that off. Let's drop off the gold story. We know there's no body coming today. So that gives us the freedom to kind of do these two little side projects, building projects here. For storyline stuff. Yeah, for some of you wondering, normally I drink, like, soda or sparkling water um, when I do Let's Plays. Uh, but I've been drinking, you know, because normally, as many of you know from my Chairman of the Board show, I brew my own beer. But uh, lately, because of the remodel, I've not been able to get to brewing. Uh, but hopefully soon I'll be back brewing again. I really miss it. There's a there's a there's a charm to doing it, and a and, and, and just making good beer. It's always a good thing. Okay, observation tower. Of course, we have to manually build it, which is fine. Now we had 15, but that dropped us down to 14 overall happiness. I think it's because it's not built. You know, minus one. Yeah, but no. Ah, I want to build that. What the heck? He hammered the 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 the, the flower. Okay, there we go. Build a viewing tower. We create what's called paradise. Your viewing tower is so nice. Do you remark its beauty? It's not bad, but I wouldn't call it especially beautiful. <laughs> It's so much more than a tower. It's a symbol. A symbol of freedom. A symbol of fairness. I think your work here is complete, my friend. Lord Commander doesn't have the power to overcome our defenses. You've done so much more than we ever expected of you. Of course, this award which we pitched together. Whoa! Two gold? Oh! This award we pitched together for you so, so is so little on balance with your efforts. I hope it... Our eternal gratitude will compensate for the difference. Well, gratitude in addition to material things is better than just gratitude. So I prepared a speech for such a... Oh, wait, something's wrong. Marquis, Marquis, terrible news. What? Tell me, speak. We drew soldiers from town. The whole army just entered Mountain Fort. There's no way we can hold off such an attack. Mr. Alaric was right. We have to run before it's too late. I hear you, but keep silent for a moment now, please. I don't want everyone to panic. I need a little time to think this through. There must be a solution. It can't be the end. It can't. All this, it can't be for nothing. Keeper, do you have any ideas? I'm afraid. Both of you, leave me here, please. I must think. I must think. There must be a solution. I doubt he needs my compassion. Better leave him alone for now. So, what, what do we got here? Oh, it's a bigger version of the regular bag. Destroy that. Steel sword with a gem. We already have that. Uh, these books, we will just use these up now. Um, and we've got our 12 gold. So, sweet. Let me see what he does. Look, he's at 90, which means there's probably one more task he wants us to achieve here. But I'm just going to follow him until we get some kind of result. And we don't have to come back. I like how he's walking every which way, except... If people live like slaves and don't even notice, how could this happen? Okay, there's the... Okay, we'll have to come up here later. We may even get a scene or something late, later as well. Let's go ahead and build the rat races. We don't have enough time to get back to the cathedral and see the priest. So I'm not too worried about that. But what we do want to do is get the uh, aristocrat papers anyway. And the reason being is uh, Miss Charm needs to see them. And I'd be worried of either way of not getting... You know, if he's standing there, though, we will do it. 
but I I have a feeling he's gonna take off before we can get the papers. Get the papers. Get the papers. I feel like I could just redo this whole graveyard to optimize the space, but my lazy senses are kicking in. I'm just like, eh. You could do it. Um, aristocrat. Oh shit, I can buy multiple papers? Well, let's see what happens. We have the aristocratic papers. We get a story. I had to sacrifice my entire family and ten years of my life to get mine. Yet you gain yours so simply, you truly are an extraordinary man. Begin the ceremony. The keeper of the king's kitchen accepted the invitation. Great, then let us begin the ceremony. First, let us await our important guests. Merchant. Hello, brother. Hello. Here for ceremony is the new keeper of the king's kitchen. I have. I just. I'm just happy for you. Oh, that's right. They're brothers, aren't they? We should start, Your Holiness. Oh, I'm so nervous. It'll be a regular, just a regular ceremony. No, I'm talking about my brother. Only now do I have. See how much I've missed him. Aww. Dear flock, we are here to pray for the water for the town. Yes, and also pray for our families. Our family can help us survive this cruel world, even the most deadly drought. So let's forget our your your old fights and forgive each other, and pray for water. Oh yes, sure, and pray for water. What a good speech. I need to apologize to my mom. I'm going to be coming down in buckets. <laughs> brother, yes. Br Aww. The brothers made nice. I'm so happy for you. No, I'm the one who's happy. I'm so happy. Look what we've achieved. Our parents would be so proud. Okay, guys, I should probably leave you alone. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're truly a great help. Do you still need my mirror? Yes. Very well, take it. You can take my fork as well. Come, we have so much to discuss. Sure, let me tell you about my journey. Meh, better we discuss our future. Well, there it is. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure he's not out there. And money-wise, we're pretty much broke again. But walking around with two aristocratic papers, I am. Oh man, and I can't get rid of him either. Um, I don't want to leave him here. There's no point in doing that. Anywho, uh, let's head back. Let's go build the rat race thing. We'll leave one of our aristocratic papers here in case they get lost or something. And we can leave the gold storybook. Um, I'm thinking of leaving, well, we gotta leave, we'll probably end up leaving the sword in our weapons cache. We already have it. We don't need another one. Let's make our way east. Booze. No. Oh, but look at that. We got one gold. So there we go. We got some money back. They all hesitated, didn't they? Rat race table. Uh, what? Oh crap! Baskets. Did I? Did I not make the advanced ones? 
Could have sworn we did. Yeah, coulda, woulda, shoulda. Okay, well, we'll have to deal with that. But we're running out of stuff to do, strangely enough. Which is good, because that means we're probably slowly starting to approach endgame. Which I'm okay with. We've we've been at this for for quite a while, and things have greatly slowed down as re with regards to tasks and whatnot. Well, well, guys, you must be confused. Your Lord Commander let me free, so it was nice seeing you. Come by again some time and so on. But right now I'm a little busy. We weren't sent by Lord Commander, so shut up and follow us. They're looking at me weird. Something is wrong here. Are you sure I have no choice? You have a choice. You can refuse and we'll kill you immediately. Incidentally, we can even bury your corpse for an additional fee. That's an incredibly attractive offer, but no, I'll save my money and come with you. Great. No, no. Lady Beatrice, I'd say it's a pleasant surprise, but wasn't it you who tried to convince the Lord Commander to incinerate me last time we met? Return to Mountain Fort, my friends. Your work here is done. As for you, Keeper, you can relax. What's the use of bringing up silly quarrels? I'd like to give you another chance to earn my respect and my friendship. It's something even more intimate. Like I already told you, I'm not interested. I have my beloved. Man, I've heard that one before, but every time it ends the same way. All males are the same. But as you wish, I could pay you in another coin. I'll rescue your priceless refugees from the Lord Commander's soldiers. The old fool is completely on the hook f for me. He'd defy the king himself if I asked. But what am I supposed to do, assuming I agree? Nothing special. I need five emulsions of death. Why do you need these emulsions? The emulsions will prepare the bodies of the Mountain Fort soldiers for transformation. What transformation? You will begin a small injection of emulsion disguised as a remedy for di dire. Did she say diarrhea? There will be a few weeks of invisible mutations, then a few hours of torment, then oblivion, silent death. I then and then I shall revive them as obedient, nearly invulnerable undead servants, far more powerful than common zombies, and without that nasty smell. Almost ghouls, ghouls, ghouls don't exist. Everyone knows that. You're right. However, your old friend Clotho found a way to make the fantasy a reality. I came with a ritual for raising ghouls. I got a scroll. Already used it a couple of times. The results and the results surpassed all, all expectations. Why can't you make these emulsions yourself? Black alchemy is difficult to practice in secret. I can't afford to take such a risk. My reputation as an inquisitor must remain absolutely pure for now. Besides, the preparation of emulsion requires dark brains. We have some of those, I think. Fortunately, the Inquisitor, the Inquisition has prisoners. They're burned along with their brains, except when they're killed while they're trying to escape or, Jesus, the poor fugitives. Do you really need them just for dark brains? Nope, I have something far more interesting planned. Their escape allowed me to settle legally in Mountain Fort and prepare everything for the next step. Your friend Alaric didn't tell you that I was I who threw him out, who threw out, who threw out him the hint on the way of rescuing the prisoners. I don't understand. There's a time for everything, my dear. What do you need the ghouls for? What the hell are you doing stuff? Let me guess. It was you who sent monsters to kill me. And why would you say that? It was you. That's you too. Thanks to your stinky spell, you knew the whole time where I was and what I was doing. Not bad, but don't worry. The aroma you hate so much will dissipate soon enough. And it was your fault the magic that Alaric used on Clotho didn't work. A few drops of jasmine juice and Alaric's final chance to stop the ancient curse was lost. Bingo, my dear. However, thank you for your investigation. It was amusing to say the least. Serve your meaningless efforts. What do you need the ghouls for? This all sounds crazy. That's so typical of people, keep Keeper. If there's something they don't understand, they call it crazy. But it's too soon to reveal everything yet. Wait a little while and your curiosity will be more than satisfied. If I refuse to make these emulsions, that would be most unpleasant. You'd change from a potential partner to an unwanted witness. So I would be ob obliged to dispose of you in a most drastic manner. I only use the dark brains of your refugee friends after the Lord's people kill them. You see, I'll get what I need either way, but you're still able to save some lives. 
It is time for you to choose, Keeper. I grow tired and morning draws near. Eh, we'll help you. Lovely. I wasn't particularly in the mood for violence today. Keep in mind, time is short. The Lord Commander could declare an assault on the refugee camp any day. I understand. I would understand one more thing. If anyone learns of the things I've told you, you'll be sorry I didn't kill you at once. How should I deliver the emulsions to you? Say the code word retribution to the guard of Mountain Fort. When I get my five emulsions, I'll hold up my end of our deal. I'll persuade the Lord Commander to leave the refugees alone. Thousand kisses, my dear, your darling. She's right. Time is short. Better start working on those emulsions. What other choice do I have? Should I talk to Alaric? But her spell is still working. She'll hear every word. On the other hand, if I choose my words carefully, she might not suspect a thing. Or I could just expose Beatrice. Tell the Lord Commander everything. That might be rather difficult. He likes her and won't want to believe me. But Kukul hates her. Maybe he could help me with this. Though if I whisper word to Kukul, my deal with Beatrice will be off. Ugh. Okay. Um. So we have what looks like a whole series of weirdness here. Brewing stand to give them a guard and everything. So there's really two ways that we can handle this. None of them seemingly good. So that's the thing. Let's let's build our rat races, shall we? That that'll take our mind off of having to figure out how, what we want to do. Hopefully. We need to do this. Oh man, you need sixty. Okay, so I can see why producing height more that faster is a good thing. All right. Two things. Let's go build our rat races and see they and see Miss Charm. At least, you guys have at least earned that result. Because I believe that's gonna help us with the astrologer to move that storyline along. To a degree uh, as well. I think we have the infinite notebook. We might need to take that out of storage with us. Oh, pfft. I'm waiting on that. I don't know why I came all the way out here to build something I can't build yet. Okay, what? Let's go see Miss Charm. Let's let's do that. Give me Elisa's papers, I, I can sign it. So you're an aristocrat now? That's right. I thought you'd be taller. It didn't make you handsome either. For my only friend, can you help me one more time? What is it now, Miss Charm? That's really need of a new song. I was just going to sing my old hits. I've been advised to perform something new as well. I can write some lyrics, but I'm not a poet. Help me, help me, please. My life depends on it. Okay, I might know a poet who can write a new song for you. We do know one. Um, I have the perfect, no, we don't have it. Get the greatest love song ever. This charm needs a song. Wagner, you have one once a lifetime chance, my friend. This charm needs a love song, but who would you be able to write it? Oh, I'm so excited. What if I write a bad one? You're a smart and talented guy. Just write about your feelings. No, I can't. I need extra inspiration. University, the other students mentioned the legend that fly agaric infusion opens the floodgates of inspiration. The infusion should be made with a very strong alcohol. Okay, I'll try to make this infusion for you. So 
We need to figure out this infusion. Doesn't didn't really say much about it, did they? They said really strong alcohol, so what Arlagic? Alaragic? I don't know what I would pronounce that. We'll go look at our distillery for a second and see what's up with that. We'll also see if we can make those things that she wants, but we should also look at some other stuff as well. Okay, so three red mushrooms, which we can go out and find, and one booze. So we, but we need to make a booze first, so... I, yeah, 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 let's make a booze. Before we don't have the ability to. We need some red mushrooms. I don't think we're sitting on any red mushrooms right now. I, I think we use them all to make toxic extract or something like that. So we might need to go hunting for some, but we only need three. She's asking for it, not one of those. It's not one of these either. Uh, is it over here? What is it? All right, all right. What did the hell did she want? The brewing stand. Death emulsions. This is not called the brewing stand. The brewing stand? Is that something we gotta make? These are all the bags here, probably. The brewing stand. Okay, let's go see the brewing stand. Why is everything alcohol all of a sudden? <laughs> okay, so there's our hard liquor. Hmm, okay. So, death solution. I'm sure we can easily produce a lot of that. So we can technically make what she needs. She needs five. We'll brew it, but it doesn't mean we're going to give it to her until I've decided what we ultimately will do. That's the purple stoof. Here. Chaos solution. I don't know how much of that we actually have. Still need to go out and find our mushrooms. <clears throat> I believe it was three. Yeah, it was three mushrooms. <coughs> oh, death solution! I grabbed chaos solution. Whoops. Let's try that again. It's because it looks like we're gonna get multiple options of what to do. Oh, we got a body. Deal with the body. Congratulations, York told me that you're an aristocrat now. Yes, but how did he know? Well, he likes to follow you around just because you don't see him. That doesn't mean he isn't right beside you. You're here right now? I bet he is. <laughs> Shut up, Gary. 
I keep accidentally calling Jerry because I just want to beat him to death. Okay, we've got an opening for a body, so let's utilize that opening, shall we? Oop. Oh, I didn't want to take his meat out. No, put it back. Don't know if that actually helped us after we've now removed it. That. I think it's regular brains that. No. It's the heart. No, the heart removes the three unwanted, but it removes three good. So, really, he's a burner. Because even if we remove that, it's still going to add a lot of, of hatred to our. A lot of evil whatever to our cemetery and I don't want to add evil to it. Well, let's get we'll burn this one. It's not as good as it could have been night. That could have been my fault. I probably screwed that up. Alright. Now where was I before I was rudely interrupted? Okay, let's drop stuff off. Mushrooms. Specifically, poison mushrooms. Which we just gotta keep our eyes peeled for. We've seen them. We only need three as well, so it's just a matter of finding them. But I'll tell you, it's always when you need something, you can never freaking seem to find it. There's one right there. There's two, so we just need to find one more. I would be more inclined to think it would be this way. Mm, tasty shrooms. Green. Now we have enough to build the rat race. I might have to wait till next episode though. Oh, there's some more. Let's make sure our idiots up top are producing as well. Um, grapes. And let me. Oh, I, I think we could use more zombies for that too. We'll see. Grapes. Good grapes. And two more zombies anyway. And we need one more regular grape seed, and then we need enough to do these two. So we don't need to make zombies yet, because we can't even get the zombies we have for fully operational. And it's merchant day, so that's actually something we could do really, really quick. Just to ensure we don't that we don't have to waste our time with it later. Okay, uh really quick. We've got about five minutes left in this episode, so let's go ahead and get this going here. That's quick. Keep forgetting to drop that sword off. I'm gonna let him take that for now. Let's go see the merchant. We'll drop off this booze thing as well. It's miserable. The king is used to eating rubbish and he seems to be okay with it. I'll try to improve his taste, but it's going to be a lot of work. So if you have all that work to do, why are you still coming here? My new job is honorable but not very profitable, and apparently my glorious brother is deep in debt. It's my family's responsibility to help him, so the fun never stops for me. Let's do some business. Ha ha ha. Alright, fair enough. Uh, we still need enough to do that, and 
eventually we'll upgrade them all to gold quality. So we'll take that with us for now. Fusion. Let me taste it. Oh, I feel so inspired now. Just give me a little time. Come back later. Now I must focus. That was a creepy ass grin. Alright, so we'll come back on Snake Day. And we really need to build that thing because that way we can see Snake literally the next day. Hence why I'm willing to drag this episode out if it means getting that far. <laughs> there it is. Oh, it's kind of cute. For the rat racing. Alright, so that thing's... Oh, you know what? Do we actually have to run it as an event, though? That, that's the real question. Bet you we do. Rat races. So let's do some flyers. That way we have that ready to go. Because I have a feeling we're going to need to run the freaking rat racing here. And we'll actually know if we go and look at... Organizers rat races in your tavern. So I bet you we need to do that. And we could even do it on Snake's d the day that Snake is free. So we probably should do that. But we're short 10 flyers and we can pump that out relatively fast. Hopefully we have some ink. And if not, I think we can make some. I think. It's a big I think. <laughs> and that nonsense is done. The emulsions of death. Alright, so we have an extra mushroom and some organ stuff we can drop off. You notice I didn't put more carrots in the bucket because we, we don't really need bodies right now until we talk to the priest again. So ultimately there should there's really no rush. Skin, we'll need to make some paper while we're here. I know we're gonna need it regardless of what else we need, but Because we could sell off the meat, you know, that we're sitting on. Got like 20-something pieces of meat, so as far as I'm concerned, we should probably sell it so we all have the cash ready to go whenever we want. And we need paper down here, too, so between the two m mountains of paper, between the two th types of things we'll need paper-wise, we have access to all of it, so there's two pieces here, so we'll leave 12. The rest we can take upstairs. And we can also leave... She only wants five of these, so we can leave five here. Because that's clearly... Whoops, it's clearly taking up space in our inventory. Let's drop off these two things. The mushrooms. Uh, everything else we'll hold on to for the moment. Let's see down here. We are short in ink. Let's see if we can make ink. I might be running into a problem here. Ah, no, we're good. We can make five ink. Bloop! Put those five inks in here. That gives us, that gives us ten. That's enough to run the stupid freaking rat races. And then, last but not least, we're going to deal with our grape seeds. And then, as I stated before, we're going to pretty much have to make a decision with what we want to do with the dark emulsion thingies. I said I needed dark brains, but I didn't see that as a recipe item. Again, not ultimately that worried about it. 
puts us at another 19 grape seeds. Sweet. Put that in there. So it makes me wonder. Well, we would need to upgrade these, and I don't want to do that. It's too much resources right now. Um, right, we can't do the quality improvement. Yeah, we can't go to Gold Star until we build these up a bit. But we'll put them on bronze. Actually, it'll be more to put this guy on gold quality. Then we'll have enough to do a third zombie, and then we'll keep collecting more seeds till we can do the final zombie um, for the, the, the thing. And then, yeah, we could dick around with upgrading that a little later. I'm not going to dick around with it now. Um, what am I doing here? Sticks can go in the other one. Uh, yeah, let's put this here. And then last but not least, let's drop the sword off, because we don't need this sword right now. And the sticks can get dropped off, because we don't need the sticks. And the meat can be dropped off with the paper. Meat. Get that fork out of there. And then we'll drop the paper off, and then we'll be good. There's more than enough paper to deal with all that meat. So, with that said... This is a place, great, great place for us to stop right now. So like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash jacktarstudios for more live gaming action. When we come back, it's off to the rat races, my friend. So hopefully we can get that underway. So thanks for stopping by, guys. We'll see you guys next time.